XLs, how are we doing? Back again, playing some Saga of Survival. How are we going, guys? All right, so at the moment, we're in in the middle of a challenge. So we're actually doing the Battlethon as we speak at the moment. So right now, we are doing the Fighting Fury Battle. So basically, with this one, um, we just got to defeat the Bone Breakers, Dark Bone Breakers, Walkers, and Stone Golems predominantly to get... Uh, more EXP. As you can see, we are about a day away before this is due to finish. Um, already done my minimum requirement there, so as you can see, um, got a, got pretty much most of, most of the guys on board there uh, participating in the challenge. I'd like to get everyone on board to do just that, but um, you know, unfortunately, not everyone can sort of do the challenges every single time. So. Anyway, with that out of the way, pretty much what I'm doing at the moment is I'm heading over to the Cursed Forest. I'm going to leave that for a sec and I'm going to head back home just so we can um, drop some items off. And um, basically head back over there and I'm going to grab a couple of other bits and pieces from home. But while we're doing that at the moment, as we're sort of running back home, just want to um, extend out another invitation, you guys, to join up to Dark Legion. So if you guys are um, in a clan, uh, not happy currently, and you guys feel like you're doing all the work kind of thing, please jump over to Dark Legion. We are now an active clan, so you guys will have assurances here that um, you will be backed not only by me, but the rest of the clan. So we're doing quite well. Last XP challenge, we got to Epic. So we still need the extra bodies in there to get over to Legendary. So Hopefully we can get up to uh, 40 members, 40 plus members, ideally. Um, and hopefully we'll actually stand a really good chance to go for legendary items. So that's what we're chasing um, for the XP challenge. And at the moment we are not doing the greatest with the Battlethon. It always tends to be one of those harder ones that we sort of tend to do. We always sort of try and load up for the XP challenge and just get... Um, everyone on deck to do uh, this challenge. Between the resource race and the battlethon, we usually just get the standard tier and sort of move on from thereafter. But if we get a lot more people in, I'm sure that's going to sort of encourage everyone to push on and get to the next lot of um, equipment. So, yeah, basically, if you guys are in um, want or wanting to get into a new um, clan, now's a good time. Jump over. Dark Legion it is. What I was actually noticing as well, I did actually see um, a couple of posts in the community page, um, or the fan made page, sorry I should say, and interesting enough, um, I do see some people from time to time actually post that they enter into a new clan and all of a sudden once uh, one of the challenges are finished, whether it's the XP challenge or any other sort of challenge, they get kicked out. Now, look, Obviously that's wrong, um, I, I'm definitely not a fan of, um, you know, uh, clan leaders using and abusing um, new members coming through and basically not um, giving them enough opportunity or, you know, basically, you know, to prove their worth, you know, week in, week out and, and essentially, you know, just get kicked from, you know, from doing their, you know, what they were supposed to do and, you know, definitely not on. And, you know, to those people there, you know, jump across if you feel that you've been, you know, mistreated in that sense or you've been going through, you know, a couple of clans and you find that you haven't actually found one or settled through. Um, look, it's a really good opportunity for you guys to jump across to us and, um, yeah, have a good time. You know, we're not just a clan that just does challenges. Everyone uh, kicks back, you know, chats, uh, you know, make friends and things like that. That's what it's all about. That's what I want to sort of um, emphasize with that. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm just surprised that I've actually seen some people explain that they do get kicked from. So yeah, like I said, it's it's not the ethical thing of doing, you know. You guys are playing, you know, a, a game that you guys are essentially enjoying and, you know, to go back and, and do something like that. Yeah, definitely not right. So guys, if you've been mistreated like that, um, definitely start looking for you know a clan that's going to um, suit your um, 
you know, suit your personality. Like-minded people that are interested in playing the game, that are active, and they just want to have a good time. That's basically what I sort of wanted to point out. So, yeah, I just found it a bit unsettling, the fact that, you know, uh, some people do all their hard work, and then they sort of get kicked, and, you know, all the points get afforded to the team, and that person that gets kicked right at the end gets nothing at all. Definitely not the, not the right way of doing it. You can understand if the, um, if the event's over and, you know, if the, the leader decides that they either want to disband or they feel like they should just clear out who they've got and just to get a refresh of people, it, that's up to them. But to do it within a challenge of any type, yeah, definitely not right. Anyway, enough about that. Basically, like I said, in short, you guys want to jump, uh, jump on board, jump aboard. If not, totally fine. Um, like I said, just need the bodies, but of course we we do um, you know have a good environment within our clan. So I think that's a good um, that's a good takeaway and a good segue to sort of come back into what we're doing here. So right now we are basically just wanting to finish off uh, the curse forest, and with the curse forest, this is going to yield the most amount of points for us to. Um, uh, maximize our potential for this particular challenge so um, right now I'm pretty much cleared the top floor <laughs> excuse that um, that dungeon spider and I'm pretty sure I've got everyone down here well covered so basically right now all that I'm doing is I'm just gonna find some of the golems um, that I haven't actually uh, looted completely and these guys are going to have the rest of the shrine keys. So, yeah, I mean, I haven't really sort of taken any sort of priority in getting these shrine keys for such a while. And purely because I've got the horse. And I figured, you know, what's the point? But I do have a stack of shrine keys back at home. So, I don't know. I feel like if I'm keeping them, I'm keeping them for something that I don't know when, when will it matter. And at the, at the progression of the game at the moment, that there's really not a lot of, um, uh, you know, updates coming through where, where, where it gives us any sort of reasoning to grab these uh, shrine keys. So I guess that's probably the reasoning why that I'm going to start just spending money on it. Uh, well, not money on it, I'm sorry, I should say, using up the shrine keys. Sorry, I, I completely blanked out there for a second. Thinking about something else and yeah, anyway. Basically, yeah, I've got a whole bunch of shrine keys and they're just filling up in my inventory. I may as well just start using them and thank goodness for that. What a decent, decent loot opening. I'm wrapped with that. So, yeah, <laughs> Meteor uh, Bar and Oak Planks, I'm not going to say no to that. So, yeah, awesome, awesome find. So, I'm happy with that. But anyway... I don't think I actually have enough shrine keys for opening up probably two, yeah. Probably should have grabbed a little bit more from um, from back of base, but what do you do anyway? So right now we haven't gone down to the swamp here, so this is the last um, clear out. And I'll probably just show you what I've done so far. So this is the, today I pretty much started um, uh, my battle thon here. And I've only just gone through one Curse Forest and now we're going to do the second one and finish it off. And I just want to sort of give you guys a bit of a, an idea what type of um, experience that you guys can get from this. So yeah, pretty much I didn't want to sort of do it from the start. I think, you know, you guys have done the Curse Forest many times, but more importantly, just sort of show you where I'm at and yeah, just give you a bit of an understanding on how much um, XP potential that you guys can get from it. So, yeah, I mean, it's just a good little thing all around. I mean, I've done it heaps of times with the XP challenge, so why not all the other challenges here? So I thought about making a, a little bit of a, you know, a series, perhaps. I don't know yet. Oop, better get myself out of here. Um, okay, so I'm just going to let you hit me once. Get out to safety. And we'll quickly heal up. And I think I've only got one left in this, so let's just do that. Oop, I shouldn't have done that. I don't know why I did that. 
Um, but I really wanted to use that. And let's switch over to that. And not use the hot, hit the hotbed, but... Okay. So it should do about 20 odd damage on me, or miss completely, which is what I really wanted. So let's just go ahead and heal up. Pop that in. Consume some of that. And we'll get back to it. So as you can see, I'm using the uh, the one star ones. And the reason for that is I've got a ton of uh, room tablets. So um, I figured, you know what, why not? It's not that much to make in terms of material wise. So you've only got the, the nature rune. Um, what else actually you have? Completely forgot. I think you need undead essence and uh, oak planks, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and the em empty uh, amulet there. So pretty easy items to get, to be honest with you. So um, pretty much make half of it now anyway. I mean, the undead that you defeat in the zone here, you'd be able to find. You might be lucky to pull one of these. And if you're very, very lucky, you might get one of those. But I've got a whole bunch of them in my vault and inventory at home. So it doesn't really matter to me. Um, but yeah, that's the reason why I've got about 10 sets now. <laughs> I've got 10 of these. Uh, sitting at base waiting to be used so I figured you know what may as well use them I'll leave my purple gear alone for now I've uh, been using a lot of them and I'm running out of um, uh, hammers to repair them all so yeah so I'm gonna pretty much um, just start restocking on hammers and eventually I'll fix up all of those uh, purple weapons and then eventually we'll start using them again so in that sort of rotation I guess but clearing house as you do and some of the things that I'm, I'm sort of leaving behind I'm pretty much going to find space and in inventory once I sort of get um, rid of those shrine keys anyway but the other reason why I sort of wanted to use the shrine keys as well just in case once the developers decide to increase the end game level and we start getting focus on certain other um, uh, uh, traveling uh, companions. So what I mean by that is, let's just jump back into the crafter menu here. So you've got the um, the wiring cage. So that's the, that's the next thing. So I've already built that. Obviously you need a whole bunch of other um, items to finish construction like you've done with the, the, uh, the stable for the horse. And with that there, Basically, um, you know, we can have different, um, you know, animals per se. So a wire, and so it looks like a, well, I wouldn't say like a dinosaur or anything, but I mean, it's a, it, some sort of creature. I mean, if you want to look it up, look it up and you probably get a better understanding of what that actually means. And um, yeah, so basically I'm thinking if and when they decide to open it up a little bit more, uh, being the end game level, at least this way we can um, have uh, some of the horse stable items that may carry across who knows that they may or may not they might even change the shrines to reflect the um, you know the wire and cage or they give you a combination of you know uh, a very small percentage of getting uh, wire and parts who knows but that's just my thought process behind it I think to be honest with you will be a little bit off until we get that sort of stuff and that's probably the other reason why I'm just going to start using the shrine keys. And if we start getting teasers or something like that, that will, um, you know, give us a, a slight indication that, you know, uh, next lot of, um, you know, traveling companions are going to be released. Then, you know, that might be a good idea to actually, you know, save up on those shrine keys, whether they're just for this, uh, for the swamp level or will they use it for other zones and, you know, by other zones, I mean once they get the the sixth level dungeon out of the way, because I think that's going to be the next thing, or the next major update. I believe that's going to happen because they've been talking about it for the longest time. Um, you know, admittedly not. You know, oop, th that bug is still there as well. That's still annoying. That little time travel bug, as I like to call it, still there. Hasn't been fixed. It's been there for some time. Anyway, what I was sort of getting at is. Um, pretty much if once they do the six level dungeon of what they've been touting, then they might move on to something like, the, um, you know, new traveling companions and things like that. So that's what I'm hoping for. 
Uh, but then again, not to say that it will happen. It may, may not, who knows, but you know, we can only just hope. And where did you come from, my friend? Came out from the back door. Okay, well, anyway, let's just do battle here. And let's just sneak up on you. And that's it, enough of you. Thank you very much. And I'll leave those there. And I'll do that as part of my cleanup, I guess. Um, so let's run over here. I'm pretty much on 200 curse points, which makes a whole lot of sense. And getting everyone, everyone's attention. Okay, so can I outrun you? I think I can. Oop, sort of. And stop. And stop. Okay, and enough of you. What do you drop? Okay. So I've got the Undead Overlord, which I'm going to have to deal with in a second. Okay, so let's sneak up over and let's take this fella out. Where is he? It's just there. And attack versus what, what I do versus him. I mean, obviously I'm absolutely smashing him. I mean, he's, done, he's doing on average 10 to 12 and I'm getting at least more than 50 which is just a standard attack on my end. So I think, if anything, I think the sneak attack on these guys is roughly about 66 damage without, without it being critical. But... There we go, there, there goes another overdead. Un, uh, dark, sorry. Undead Overlord. I think that's what he's called. And there goes that glitch again. Really puts you off, actually, I find. It really puts you off when that happens. And I won't worry about the keys. Let's just grab this and see what's in here. So I want to get more hay and water barrels. So, you know, pretty much some of these items here that, we, that we're plucking from these, whether they be, you know, um, necessary or not, it's still good to just to sort of Grab them anyway, you may as well. So as I said, you don't know if the recipes will change. And I think you can get a larger saddlebag. I don't know if that's in-game or not, because I have seen it briefly. But also, I'm running out of those. So, uh, really good time to sort of, you know, stock up and grab uh, certain items. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, different if you've been doing it for ages and that's all you've been doing and focusing on. But I think after a while, after you don't do it, I think, you know, it's sort of kind of ref uh, refreshing, I feel, that you sort of just revisit, go back and, um, yeah, just farm for them again for a little bit. And just sort of, you know, gets you doing other things as well, aside from what you were doing beforehand. So, yeah, I mean, you know, take it as you will, guys. I just find that, you know, from time to time, you just sort of want to mix it back up again. But otherwise, um, I think we've nearly cleared the zone, to be honest. Just take you out and finish you off. And okay. I'll probably end up clearing everything. I didn't want to sort of bore you with that. But what I want to do is just want to finish off any of the last enemies in this zone. So I'm pretty sure there's no one here. There should be one more overlord over here. There he is. There to heal up before and get into uh, bigger trouble. And let's just continue on and finish you off. If I really wanted to, I can just sit there and just let him attack me while, while I attack him. And to be honest, I think I've still beat him. Every hit is 50, so. And that's it. All right, so I'll just take that, thank you. And all right, I'm just gonna take a quick out, um, a quick look 
and just see if there's anyone else I had to be worried about before I just finish it off here. Okay, so it looks like we've pretty much conquered everyone here. Uh, let's take a look where we're at on the old ranking scale here. So top of the leaderboard, as you would expect. Um, so basically, if you were to divide that by two, 3,872, pretty much that's one, or that, that, that'd be one curse forest run from start to finish. So the fact that I've done two, that's where I'm at. I haven't gone anywhere else aside from the curse forest during this battle thon. So you can get, you can pull a decent amount of points to be honest with you. So if you were to do one more, that's 5k. That's pretty much what a lot of um, a lot of the high end clans are, are achieving with fifty with a lot of fifty people trying to all, all do the same thing and um, finish off uh, the specific challenge in question here. So, I mean, with the exception of possibly you know out of those fifty, maybe your top ten would go over and above and do say ten k or maybe a little bit more, just to sort of filter out um, or balance the um, the amount of XP required for the challenge, but. If you were to do one more, you've got over 5,000 points, which I think if you do three Cursed Forests within a two-day challenge, I think you've done quite enough. And if everyone else sort of commits and does the same thing, I think you guys can do wonders with your own clan. But as I said again, if you guys haven't got a clan or looking for a new home, yeah, Dark Legion, come through and apply. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to leave it here for today. Just wanted to take you through one of my challenges and what I do. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys do with your own challenges as well. Um, have you guys actually been mistreated um, in regards to being led into a clan and then only for you guys to be kicked out right before the challenge ends so you miss out on your um, uh, rewards? Let me know in the comments um, because th th that'll be very interesting. There's got to be something that needs to be done you know, in that situation. If you get kicked and you miss out you shouldn't be missing out on on any of those rewards you should be temporarily still tethered to that clan um within that challenge and if that clan achieves what they achieve then you should still be benefit uh, you know be a beneficiary of that challenge but anyway that's just my opinion but i want to hear it from you guys if you guys have been mistreated anyway i'm gonna leave it here take it easy and i'm gonna catch you next time